Hi, I'm Iris Fritz, and I'm a math instructor with the Gateway Program, housed in the Elfman Student Success Center at Dunwoody College of Technology. I'd like to welcome you today to learn how to make 12 formulas out of two formulas using Ohm's Law. So let's begin with basic Ohm's Law and make sure we know how to read it. E equals I times R. You'll notice that I'm not going to focus in on the words, what this stands for. I know that you know right now that voltage is equal to current times resistance. But we'll just use the letter names. It will allow us to understand and follow our problem better without getting wrapped up in the physics of it. So if I want to solve for I, take what you know, focus on what you want to get by itself on one side of the equation. I want to solve for I. And look at the operation affecting it. Multiplication by this, by R. I don't want this R here. I'd love to move it to the other side because then I will have solved for I. So the opposite of multiplying is to divide. And I need to divide this side by R. And what I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side to keep this equal. And when I do this, it does a nice job of canceling the R out on the right side of the equation and, if you will, moving this relationship to the left side. The new form now of my equation is E divided by R. That's on the left side of the equation. And on the right side now is I. And I've just solved for current. So now we have a third equation that we're looking at. Remember, our first two are given. Let's do the same thing now using the same equation and solve for R. Using E equals I times R. Let's solve for R. I always advise my students write a nice clean form of what you're given and then let's work that formula. It's important to always see what you started with and where you end up. I want to solve for R. I want this by itself on one side of the equation. The opposite operation is to divide. I'm going to divide this side by I and what I do to one side I must do to the other to keep it equal. This cancels and it shifts, if you will, that relationship to the other side of the equation. So writing a nice clean form now, I have E divided by I and that is equal to R. Now let's take on the next equation, P equals I times E and do the same. So let me just uh, remind you as to where we are right now. We have, from one equation, we have two additional forms of that equation. One that describes the relationship between current and voltage and resistance. Another that describes the relationship between resistance and how it's equal to voltage divided by current. Altogether now, we have the two given formulas and an additional two forms of these formulas for a total of four. Let's continue. Given P equals I times E, you'll notice that the relationship is very similar to the last formula that we worked with, though this is representing power and it is equal to current times voltage. I'd like to now solve for I and then what we'll do is solve for E. But if you remember from the last formula, Ohm's law that we worked with, when I have two letters together like this in math, there's implied multiplication going on. And so we're going to be using the opposite operation of division to help us solve for these pieces. So 
solve for i. We know that p equals i times e. But I want i by itself on one side of the equation. The opposite operation is to divide by what you want to move over. This e is in my way, if you will. And what I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other to maintain the equality, to keep this equal. Show yourself that this canceled. That's going to give you strength. E over E is like I have a form of 1, if you will. And 1 times any thing is just itself. So I just have I sitting here now. And on the other side of the equation, I have P divided by E, another formula that's on that wheel. And let's do the same thing now with E. This is what's given. This is what we know. We know that P equals I times E. And now we need to solve for E. We want E by itself on one side of the equation. So take the formula. Identify what the operation is, its multiplication, and use the opposite operation to shift information to the other side of the equation. The opposite of multiplication is to divide by what we want to move over. I don't want that I there. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other to keep this equal. That's very important. This now cancels and shifts that information to the left side. And now our new formula. is P divided by I equals E. And again, you will notice that this is one of the formulas on that memory wheel. So if you know and understand basic solving techniques, you will be able to derive all 12 formulas. And that wasn't so bad. It's nearly fun. OK. And I think we are at six formulas right now, so we have six more to go. So I'm going to race now and put up our next round, because we're going to be doing something called the substitution method. And what that means is I'm going to take information from one formula, and I am going to substitute it into another to help me solve.